Did you know there's been over 100 Fortnite collabs and we're watching every one of the trailers, including some you've never seen before. And they started so strong out of nowhere back in Chapter 1 Season 4 with the arrival of Thanos in Fortnite. This blew everyone's minds. The Infinity Stones, the overpowered Thanos boss destroying everyone. Oh, a little bit of NFL and Fortnite action. The breadth of the collaborations that Fortnite have done will blow your mind. And trust me, there'll be some in here that you've never seen before and some that you've completely forgotten about. We'll be starting off back in chapter one. And then they decided to bring one of the best ones ever back to the game. But this time with a little bit more Marvel. Bearing in mind, this is back when we didn't have a load of these crazy skins. So the fact that we even got to have like Thor's hammer was just incredible. John Wick. We all knew the knockoff John Wick from the original Battle Pass, but now he's actually here. Fun fact, the combat shotgun and tactical AR were actually taken from John Wick. A bit of an NBA and Jordan collab as well. I remember playing this map so many times to complete all the challenges to get all of the rewards. This one's really underrated. Borderlands, I really enjoy Borderlands. Me and my wife played it. I think one of the first two and just completed the whole game twice. And there was a whole dedicated area with literal Borderlands style graphics. So good. Of course, we're going to have screens. We're going to have clap track. The introduction of the junk riff back then as well. I love landing at spot. <laughs> Even the, the change in uh, chess as well. And then... Just when we thought, oh, we've got Marvel. Does that mean we can't get DC? No, my friends. Batman is here. That is right. Not only Batman, but Star Wars. Oh, my gosh. This was the beginning of Chapter 2. So we've already done all the Chapter 1 collabs. There weren't many, but still hyped. And now in Chapter 2, the arrival of all of the different cosmetics. Of course, the lightsabers for the very first time. We even had a Star Wars live event arriving on the island. I gotta admit, lightsabers were very, very hype and have come back so many times since. And we all know that there's been even more Star Wars collaborations since then as well. Oh, we've got now. I think this is one of the most hyped skins for people to get Deadpool in the battle pass. The season was incredible. The secret skin was incredible. Look at him. He's gonna have to use some of his magazine. Oh no. Wait, what the heck is this one? Oh, it's the X team. Even more Marvel skins chucked in there. They were like, oh yeah, even some of the ones you may not know about, they're coming to the game as well. Oh, that's a great shotgun play, fair enough. Of course, the Deadpool emo as well. I get those so hype. Every time. Oh, yes. We got ourselves Astro, Jack, Travis Scott. The live event was huge. I don't think the skin will ever return to the store. It is one of the skins that so many people want to return, but the live event was incredible. And obviously carries on from like the Marshmallow live event we got in the first chapter as well. Aquaman has arrived to the game as well. We never got to ride a giant flopper, by the way. I'm actually really disappointed. I saw that in the trailer. I was like, well, surely we get to drive and like literally go on a giant flopper. No, they wouldn't let us do it. And little did we know that in this trailer, when Captain America was brought to the island, everyone was so hyped that this was actually the first appearance of a Marvel skin getting ready for Galactus coming to the island in the next season. Look at the markings on the ground. It, it was a teaser right in front of us. Oh, oh! Can't just have Aquaman without his nemesis as well. Throw in a guy that literally is a UFO as a head and glowing red eyes. The skin wasn't quite as big. I actually think it's a pretty cool skin, to be fair. Very stealthy. Don't mess with him. Into the incredible. Actual Iron Man. Actual Thor. It just gasses me up every time I see it. Hit the like button if you loved this season. She-Hulk. Look, the markings are on the ground. They're all coming to the island. Wolverine. Mate, unlocking Wolverine was stress. 
Thor, Groot, Doctor Doom, Storm. Mate, mate, come on. If you haven't hit the like button already, what are you doing? The collabs this season. We never got the peely things put away. We were meant to get those peely, like, claws. But we never got it. Good thing is we realized that the main threat was Galactus himself coming to the island. And of course, within the season, it means we have to get POI, Stark Industry. Oh, Silver Surfer. Okay. Evil Galactus bots landing on the island as well. Those things actually were really cool weapons. I don't think many people knew that you could actually turn them into weapons as well. All the mythics. Oh my gosh. There was so much content. So Groot's ball, the glitches you could pull off with it. The alternate styles to get rainbow skin. You had to grind to get the rainbow skins, to be fair. And then the official trailer for Wolverine actually coming to the island with the alternate styles. Mate, I honestly think that all of those players would struggle to take on Wolverine with how much health he had on the island. He's forgotten he has literal claws to take everyone down with. His mythic was savage. Don't mess with him. If there's anything I've learned, it's definitely that. Ha <laughs> ha, Deadpool's like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this was another big season with tons of hunters scattered throughout the season. Look at that. The Mandalorian arriving the island. Baby Yoda. Actually, kind of can't believe we got that. Such a cool one. But that was, of course, just the beginning as so many more hunters were about to join in that season. Jonesy was ready. I wish we got that little teleporter device as an actual item. Just saying that'd be so cool. And there's a reason that Mancake's a little bit scared here. Oh, wolves are coming. A little bit of a teaser there of the fact that wolves were actually coming to the game. Kratos. Now, the new God of War's come out, and apparently, because his skin hasn't returned, it could be another collab skin that may never come back to the game. You get an exclusive version by playing on the PlayStation 5 viewer account. And the Joker skin, oh my gosh. This pack was in the item shop for so long. Golden Midas, Poison Ivy. Look at that. Amazing. That's definitely the kind of thing Joker would do, to be fair. Now, look who it is. This chick's is going for a kind of slurpy. Wait a second. Also, who opens up a fridge in a shop and just drinks straight out of it? It's Master Chief. We got Kratos from PlayStation. We got to get someone from Xbox, right? Ooh. Arrows are coming in. Zombies are everywhere. You know, Jonesy actually picked up all of these guys without their permission. He was just like, you coming with me. You know, I'm not going to explain what's happening. I'm taking to an island where your memory's going to get wiped and you will fight for us. Ah, uh, RIP Black Panther. So cool that we got him in the game, though, with his own POI as well. Kind of forever. So good. Incredible action, incredible character. Ooh, Predator. Almost forgot about this one. I mean, his mythics were very forgettable. That is a scary noise. If there's anything I'm gonna not want to hear in my nightmares, it is that. Terminator has been saved. And another collab that we decided. Let's just bring in Street Fighter with the infamous Chun Li. But we can't have Predator if we don't have the alien. Do you know what I mean? Too fair, she's in a bit of a pickle here. So Jonesy may have helped her out a little bit. Oh, I love this track. Rocket League. Just had a more recent collab, but this put in the Rocket League vehicle, the Octane car. Literally playing on a controller and riding on a car. I love traversable emotes, and that's why I had to put in my own traversable emote in my own icon skin loadout as well. What a sick one. Oh, <gasps> Horizon. Why did I kind of forget about this? The glider's sick. This is a game I've always wanted to play. It looks incredible. Fun fact, that you had a Horizon Easter egg on the island the entire time and no one realized. And it was time for Neymar. I swear this guy is in so many video games now. But fair play, they actually did a sick job with the skin. Human version, awesome like Panther version. It's a really good skin looking back at it actually. 
And the color options. Yeah, I mean, that's sick. That is cool. There's one thing I know about you. It's more Batman. Even when the chips are little, I'm glad they put that Batman area on the map. It was a small little area, but I'm glad they did it. Batman is here again. Or what trials you're but this facing. time he's bigger and better. But I have nothing but pity. You know what I've realized? Gets in your way. Every time they brought back a really popular skin, they've just made them really bulky. Hey, NBA. Shooting them hoops, baby. Oh mate, that's a long throw. Oh, this is a big brain play. Zipping up in the sky. Oh my, it's bound to cost the whole map. That's literally the longest goal I think you could ever score, to be fair. Slam dunk. I love the Loki trailer. Loki's just trying to be so nice. There's so many sharp things everywhere. Loki. Seriously? They need to do more battle bus animations because they're so good. He's like, oh, no one saw that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, my God. Who's coming? Oh, of course, LeBron James. Also an incredible icon skin. Look at that. I think that all the gold and like the wings and the crown is dope for up, dude. Fortnite, more car collabs, please. We have fashion, we have music, we have gaming. I want cars. I love cars. This Ferrari is so cool. The car is like a little bit faster. Definitely a lot slicker. And another... Incredible music live event. If you're wondering why we didn't include the Marshmallow live event, by the way, there was no trailer for it back in the day. And these are all official Fortnite trailers. The Ariana Grande one is a big vibe as well. Return of the mech. Oh my gosh. Wait, isn't there someone in the mech, though? I can't remember who it is. Oh, Rick and Morty. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Balenciaga. We're going from cars music to fashion to film to tv i mean what is there that they haven't done at this point just saying nintendo mario pokemon venom oh venom skin looking good reality nf 1935 the foundation ended up believe it or not a completely different place that's right, it ended up in Gotham City, which is where the comic book collab came from. Oh, yeah, Dune. Of course, the giant, like, fish stick worm in the background. And some of these celebrities have got more than one skins in the game now. Totally not jealous. But that's one of the best ways you could get yourself multiple skins. Be multiple films, they'll keep on putting you in. The soccer skin zombie collab. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh, Zombie Slayer's Resident Evil is here! This is the most random collab ever. I think it's like a Spanish comedian. And I think it may be the least sold collab ever. No offense to this guy, but I genuinely think it's one of the like least used skins ever. But still really cool, don't get me wrong. Look at him, he's such a comedian. Dancing, prancing, joking around everywhere. And Nemo's pretty cool to be fair. Oh, kaboom. Oh, yes. League of Legends. Dude, just when you thought none of the big games had been included that you may know about, they bring in League of Legends to top it off. They, and they keep on going. Oh. The fire. The shoes. The armor. Oh my gosh. It's kind of scary, to be fair. Flame's incredible, though. And oh, my gosh. Anime, I don't know. No. Remember about this one? Naruto and all of his friends. Oh my gosh, it was so hype. This is the kind of thing we're back in. Like, just remember how many collabs we have back in chapter one. Imagine telling someone you get Naruto, they wouldn't believe you. Ghostbusters. Hidden the old Ghostbuster um, poses as well. Back bling sick. Again, the actual skin. Probably towards the bottom of a collab pile. No offense, guys. Another fashion collaboration with actually a very unique skin. The skin actually is reacted depending on the height that you stand on the map. So if you're at the top of the mountain, it's really dark, I believe. And then the further you go down to ground level, it will go white again. 
So, actually one of the most unique reactive skins we've ever had. And may ever get in Fortnite. So, they did a cool job with that to mix it up and make it a little bit different. That umbrella shape is very weird. Oh, another Jordans collab. This is a creative collaboration. So, a lot of the stuff we've seen, some of them are in Battle Royale mode, which is where a majority of them are. But a lot of them we see now also in creative mode as well. With their own maps, their own challenges, their own experiences to unlock. It's awesome to see where creative could go. Could it be? It's me, the one and only... Well, I give you this. Pizza Parker! Oh, very Here they go. The folks at home doing She's here? got a second skin in Fortnite at this point. Celebrating the holidays oh my gosh. I cannot wait for the holiday season in Fortnite. Someone really needs to stop that guy. You oh. can handle that part. Yeah, maybe be careful oh, with his wow, presence. This for you. Oh, Boogie oh, Bomb. Thank you. you Let's go! Me. And so many Spider-Man skins. Oh, exploding perfectly into another League of Legends collab. That's so cool. There's so many more collabs that will be coming to the game in the future. Make sure, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to see all of them right here on the channel. But we've got so much more to cover as we jump into. Look at that. Uncharted. Tom Holland's getting another skin in the game. I really enjoyed the film, actually, as well. And it had the old versions and the young versions, whichever, whichever one you want. Love to see it. Sneaky, sneaky. Now, one sport that I actually really enjoy playing, a little bit of tennis. Enter Naomi Osaka, professional tennis player. We've got multiple skins and styles. Dude, look at her go. Fun fact, they put the helicopter in this trailer. Helicopter hasn't returned from to the game since then. Assassin's Creed. Another banger. A lot of these are tied to, like, partnerships with the Epic Games Store. If, like, they're promoting a new game and they want to do something big, you get, like, discounts or, or games launching in the Epic Games Store, but skins launching in Fortnite Store as well. So cool. Assassin's Creed game's been going on for so long now. Sneaky, sneaky. Are oh, you getting jumped on, fish sticks? 8 to 8, mate. You are... What fish stick soup? Okay, they're sharing pizza. Chica, congratulations. Incredible icon skin. Really cool design. Pretty sure everyone loved this one. Rightly so. Well deserved. Oh, no. What's that full damage? The old chicken dance emo. I thought that was really underrated, her emo. And myself, guys. Thank you so much. I can't believe I got my own icon skin. I've literally got my icon clothes on now. It's amazing. Code Allier in the item shop. If you pick up my skin or any skins ever when they come out in the item shop. Darth Vader. I thought the Star Wars hype was maybe like kind of died down of how many collabs they'd done. But no. Darth Vader in the battle pass and Indiana Jones... As the secret skin was still so hype. God, the quality of the trailers are getting, like, better and better. Love the secret room here with poor Squish Peely. And out of nowhere, John Cena. You can't see me. This one also got so much hype online when it came out. Awesome, awesome. WWE crossover. I'm telling you, anyone can be in Fortnite, baby. And this guy definitely deserves it, to be fair. Mate, he's killing people just from sending love hearts and emoting on them. His muscles just way too big. Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Star Wars. What more do you want? There's so many crazy colors. Another huge one. The mythics are incredible. The skins are, of course, amazing. Powering up. Kami Yamamiha. Everyone loved it. Loved all the mythics on the island. Patrick Mahomes thrown in there as well with his own icon skin. Pretty cool one. It kind of came out of nowhere. I like the sort of armored look. A bit of a mixture between like armored and casual. The suit is fresh. I rate the suit actually. Destiny 2. Again, another big game. Tick in Fortnite. I love the reference to the original Destiny 1 loot cave. If you know, you definitely know. Your ghost, all the skins. Oh man. This is a really good one. I put a lot of time to Destiny back in the day. Give me all of that beautiful loot, baby. And Cypher. I think everyone expected him to be coming to the Icon series. I think when people weren't sure which skins were coming out this year, a lot of people talked about me, a lot of people talked about him. I definitely think that he did a great job. He didn't know what he wanted his Icon skin to look like for ages. And it ended up being a really cool mixture of him 
and like a powered up version. A little bit of armor in there. Some glows. The backlink's really, really clean. Definitely came out great. And no doubt more icon skins to come in the future. But who will they be? And the rock back for a second skin. As if being the foundation wasn't enough. He's like, nah, I am coming back for some more for Black Adam. A film that actually been talked about and in the works for like 15 years. So for it to finally come out is incredible. And in the store, Star Wars, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Leia. Oh my gosh. They've really brought in some of the biggest Star Wars stuff now. It gets to the point where I'm like looking at all the names like, who else could we put in here? Who else have we got to come from these series that aren't in the game already? Because there's already so many of them. And with more battle passes coming out all the time, there's still so much room for other brands and other collabs to happen. Do not worry. Darth Vader even decided to show himself just how powerful he is with those Sith powers. And Ralph Lauren. Polo clothing with their custom skins. You know that they use the Renegade Raider skin here as one of the collab crossovers. Just so people be like, oh! Kind of looks like the Renegade Raider. I may get that skin. I think we'll definitely see even more clothing, fashion, and brands like that come into the world of Fortnite in the future. This is seriously just the beginning. With leaked information letting us know that Doom, Lord of the Rings, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and so many more that will blow your mind coming in the future of Fortnite, I cannot wait. Click on screen here to find out about 15 things that have been banned from Fortnite and will never return. I'm about to disappear, so quickly click it. I hope you enjoyed.